here we go with the beehive we're about to clear off the two supers full of honey lovely fresh honey that's come from the all seed rape so uh, I had the two supers here and then a one brood box uh, with the queen excluder in so what I've done is I've put a second brood box on now then I've put a clearer board here with uh, porter bee escapes in there so all the bee all the bees in these two supers should have gone down now through the uh, the bee escapes through the clearer board into this top empty brood box it's just got frames in it so that will give the bees plenty of room and also it allow the bees to uh, grow uh, bigger for going into the winter at the end of the season so I've still got these two supers uh, off here so here we go then so hopefully the bees would have gone down there's bound to be still quite a few in there because it's only been 24 24 hours and we go back home and you can see us uh, extracting it on a new machine I've just bought off of eBay here we go then we're just going to see now how much how many bees are in there Give a little puff of smoke in case there's any, and we'll give them a bit around the front. There's a nice old smoker I've got there. It was cheap, but it really smokes well. A very old one. We'll have a look in here, see how many bees we've got now. Hopefully, not too many. No, it's not a lot. They've migrated down most of them. So, what we do is. <coughs> We've got to clear every bee now off of each frame. So we just split that up like this, the box. Bring this box. Oh, one stuck on that. That's it. That one stuck on there. Put this box over here. This is full of wax, uh, full of honey, that one. Well, Dad, going around, well, each one of these frames now, uh, they've been in the clearer board, but they've still got a few bees on. We just scrape, we just scrape them, the odd ones off. We don't take them down. We put it in a clean, we put it in a clear super like that. So that when we take them home, there's nothing, no bees. This is the oral seed rape. Although it's not fully capped, if you shake it like that, there's no honey coming out at all, and that's ready because it's all seed rape. You don't want it in there too long because it'll crystallise. I'll pass the tune in, you can sweep them off. All right. Typical British weather, it's just started to. Okay. Yeah, just make sure it's going on there. Okay. Some are quite heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. They're sure, but they're just not all fully capped. Mm. But you say if you leave it too long, they'll just end up getting crystallised. Yeah. Right, go on. See that? These are the um, porter bee escapes. There's just a few bees left. There was thousands in here. They've gone down through the hole and they can't get back up. Called porter bee escapes. And these. <laughs> If you have a look at this, I'll show you this honey. It doesn't run out at all. It's not fully capped, but that is completely nice and soft honey. But when you shake the frame, nothing comes out at all. So it's just about to start to crystallize. So we've got to get that off now. It's the all sea vape honey. Give them a puff. We'll give them a little puff like that, hold that down. These haven't got a port to beer escape, but they've got three, they've just got three frames of honey, which we're going to take. 
and replace them with some empty frames. I think it's the fourth one along, isn't it, Lynn? Escape, that's what you end up with, a lot of bees like that. Where's the sweeper, Lynn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're right. Definitely more touchy, isn't That's it. I think. That's the one with them. Mm -hmm. Where's them three frames are there? These three frames back. Here's my new uh, honey extractor. I got it off eBay. I think it was £110 delivered. It's food grade aluminium. It's very nice. It's got a, quite a good quality motor. Come over here, Phil, and have a look. Got these covers that go on, and uh, this the frame inside. Well, the frames are meant for brood frames for the honey extracting that you can put on there for the for the larger ones, but. You can squeeze two ordinary supers in there. You have to just put a little tie on like that. That's it for a belt. So, uh, unfortunately, I was thinking the frame would go down that way. So you could get eight in here. But I've had to do it like this. So you may have to turn these round. So I've just got two to put in. And I'll just show you how we um, uncap them. Here's my uncapping bench here. And you've got a little bit of wood made to fit over a bowl like that and uh, you've got a couple of little s screws sticking out and we've got this, this is a little roller I've also got a knife, very nice sharp knife for uncapping I'll just show you an uh, uncapping one because this is um, oilseed rape a little bit of glass there this is oilseed rape honey uh, although it's not fully capped as I said before it's okay to extract because it is starting to crystallise if you go like that and there's no honey coming out it's okay and there's none coming out I'll just show you so them little spikes you can set that on there like that this goes on like that you move it over a little bit and then you can go up and down with your roller and you can just break the cappings like that the wax cappings so that when you put it in the extractor it will the honey will flow out and if you haven't got one of those, you can use a sharp knife like this. This is a sharp knife that you can get and you can just cut them away like this. Cut the wax off like that. Cappings. You only need to cut the bits that's capped. You can put that on there. And that's another way of doing it. But you, you lose quite a lot of wax that way, so I like to use this. See? It clears the wax cappings better than the knife, but you end up with quite a bit of wax. So we've put that over to the extractor. You can see the you can see the honey flicking out along the sides. Is in the end we found out that it's best to just put four frames in here I thought it would hold eight but it's, it holds four and you can see there's loads of honey in there and 
that's the best way of doing it for this machine. And there we got honey. I'm going to put it through this filter first. This is a first filter. I'm putting it. There's two filters here, a coarse one and a, a fine one underneath. But I'll put it into this little bucket first. Once it's once I've gone through this one, after a while, we put it into another strainer, so it's really strained a lot. And then it becomes almost show honey. Then when you've strained it so much as that. Look at that beautiful oil seed rape mainly honey that is. So that's how you get the honey out of the hives, spin it, strain it. All we have to do then is let it settle for a day and then put it into the glass jars and label up. There we are, that's all the honey extracted now and filtered, it's been in the settling tank and I've now um, jarred up all the honey, I've got quite a few jars in, uh, stacked in the storeroom and this is part of the uh, supply that I got off this uh, batch of honey. Uh, they're all labelled and got the tamper proof uh, stickers on there and on the label we've got all the regulations that we need to sell honey at your doorstep weight etc and contact details and best before date there's a lot of other products that you can get from your beehive with all the spare wax you get from rendering the old wax frames down you can make all the candles i make a lot of candles during the winter and uh, the sale of these all help towards you know buying the medicines and different things you need to keep the bees in good health so there's a lot of candles i make and um, you can do the same and I hope you really enjoy keeping bees, it's a great hobby. Uh, please press uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And that's bye for now from John the Bee Man Saunders. Thank you.